This is the Cube Analog Hardtail, a 2022 hardtail mountain bike. I uh, rode it in a recent video. If you want to see that, just click up there. But today, this is Upgrades for Idiots. Here's the idiot. I've chosen a few things that I um, picked up on our first ride, which were that the pedals aren't the best that they can be. These are the stock pedals that come with the bike. And a few other bits. So we're going to change the grips. We're going to change the handlebar. We're going to change the stem. We're also going to change up the tires. And we've got some special inner tubes that we're using. Let's crack on with this bike. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the old um, tool stand in position there, ready to receive the seat post. It's time to swap out the stem and the handlebar. We need to whip all this kit off. So we need to get the brake levers off and the gear shifter. Pretty sure we're gonna need a five mil Allen key. Yes. Yeah, that's nice and loose. So they will now slide off. We can't just undo it and unclamp it by the looks of things. So we have to take this grip off. So ideally what we'd be doing now is spraying a bit of hairspray in there, lubricating the grip in the, on the inside and then slipping it off. But what we've done today, we have sacrificed the handiness of having all the tools to hand for the beauty of the forest. And um, we're left with no choice but to surgically remove the grip. So, I mean, that's what we're gonna do. And let's stop talking about it and just do it. So, bye. That's coming off. There you go. Little branch protector, maybe. All right, that one's off. If I take the, the stem off, then the handlebar and the stem will be off. I can drop everything down everything will come off loosely and be hanging, ready for the new stem and handlebar to come off. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen the top cap and remove it, loosen off the stem. This is the stem we've gone for. It is a Nuke Proof Neutron AM, it's a 45 mil stem. When it's combined with the wider bar, make the ride more comfortable, you'll have way more control and therefore more confidence. I'm gonna pop off this stem and then pop that straight on so that the fork doesn't fly out. Okay. Okay, so now we can take all the bits off, which are the brake levers and the gear shifter. Undo the stem. Let's get this headset preloaded. Hopefully it'll pull up a little bit of this gap you see in. See that gap? Preloaded. We are fully, we're preloaded. All right, let's get the handlebar. Oh, baby. Are you fucking What the fuck was that? I don't know, stab that. So what we have here is a Brandex carbon bar, 800 mil wide. So you can already tell that's way wider. That's going to give you more control, more confidence. It does look wide. Look at all those big mountain cows with their, their horns. Mm. Mm. Right, anyway. <laughs> that's the bar. So that's the back brake. That's going to be on the left hand side. What we're, what we're going to do we're going to put it back on just, just the way we um, took it off. So that goes on there. That is the rear brake lever. What we absolutely can't do is slide that on or clamp it on when the bar is done. Gear shifter. We need that to be inboard of the brake lever. So I'm just going to slide that on. Now, let's pop that, pop that face plate on. I feel like the more you do, the more work you do on your bike, the more you get to know it. And then if anything changes, if any weird sounds happen, you know what to look for. Brake levers, gear shifters, stem, handlebar, grips. Let's put the cherry on this cake. Grip time, baby. Um, these are the Nuke Proof Sam Hill Signature Edition. So these are gonna be way more comfortable. So these, the, these are the old grips. And it's kind of a basic, basic grip, I mean, in its nature. Look at that, look at that, how grippy it is. That's just fallen on the floor. Now it's got flora and fauna all over it. It just makes a big difference, especially if you're riding long distances. And then you just tighten the other. Pretty simple. And then we'll do the same this side. We just need to get the bike out of the stand, sit over it, dial in the position of the brake lever and the gear shifter. And that is essentially personal preference. While we've got the bike in the stand, let's change out these pedals. I'm just taking the pedals out of the box, seeing the color. What are we thinking? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take these ones off and fit the new ones. And what we gotta do, we gotta just go And these pedals are so stiff that you can just spin the whole thing. Look at that. You should think about getting a decent pair of pedals, which is what these are. Just gonna pop that on my stand there. Uh, DMR V8s, so let's get them out the box. 
That's another tip I can give you. Do not go in dry. We need some uh, assembly grease. Did we pick the right color? Not sure. Anyway, let's get them on the bike and find out. Now these, difference between these and El Cheaperinos. See, the pins, metal, plastic. That's gonna make an instant difference. Turn them in the opposite way that they just came off. And now you've got two choices. You can either use the pedal spanner or you can use an Allen key pop it in from this side. Yeah, why don't we do that? Mix, in, mix things up a bit. I'm gonna say 10 mil. Oh, you've done me. You've, you've absolutely done me. Too big. Give it a little heave-ho. We can tighten that up a tiny bit more if we're not happy with it when it's on the ground, not in the stand. Not sure about the color. I am not sure about that color. The next thing we're gonna change up are the tires and the inner tubes. So what I thought would be cool to do is change the tires for something a little bit more aggressive and also, we're gonna put in these. These are Joe's No Flats self-sealing tubes. And when you get a puncture from a thorn, it will self-seal the hole, just like a tubeless uh, wheel set works. First thing we're gonna do is take the front wheel out. That is old school, look at that, old school quick release. Okay. So we drop that out. So you just grab it. I mean, again, I don't know why I'm explaining. We're just taking the tire off. I don't see many of these nowadays. That's an inner tube, everyone. Part with that, look. Workshop coming into use. Yeah, have a rest there, son. We're gonna pop in the, um, the Joe's No Flats tube. We've gone with a knobby nick. Bigger knobs, which is what we all like. Do this, so get one side in first, yeah. That is the trick. And this is the self-sealing tube. So that is gonna um, seal up any little holes. Um, pop that in. That will stop the tube from flopping about. We're gonna go from the valve. I don't know why, but it feels the right thing to do. That's where you belong. Get close to that rim. Get rimming. Time to get the back wheel off. We won't bother filming this bit, because I mean, same as that. Now we, um, we enter the mystery of the, how does this pump work? Do you put it on and then clamp it, or, or is that, that it on? Is that it on, or is that it on? We'll find out now. Don't get that in the workshop. I'm guessing the gauge isn't, <laughs> isn't working on this. It's still on zero. Is the tire pumping up? Yeah, man. We'll do the thumb test. Now we'll do the other one. There you go. Slip that in. Right, new tubes are in, new tires are on. I tell you what, this bar and stem combo is looking and feeling pretty good already. I'm gonna tighten up the stem. I'm gonna tighten up the brake lever and the gear shifter. Um, might have a little shake done, right? There's a few trails around here, so I might, might give it a little ride. And then it's onto the dropper seat post. It's feeling good. I've gotta say though, excited to try the inner tubes as well. All right. I think we are done for now. 